Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to review this set of watercolors that Milang sent me for review. And I'm just, I've already unboxed it and I've done some swatching. Just want you to know a little bit about my first impression. You, with the set, you get a, a pencil, a nice little pigmented pen and a little brush. Now the brush is probably a little small for my what I like, but I could use it for maybe the end for scratching, doing some like scratching or it's a nice brush, but it's just a little uh, small for me. Now in the pan, it comes with 52 colors and they're, uh, this, they're small little pans. I think they're smaller than half pans. And the colors, uh, I like that they sent a chart and I already swatched them out. I like that they sent a chart and it shows the transparency and the opacity of the watercolors. Now that is really important to me because I like mixing colors. So I would probably not use a lot of these. Um, mix. I wouldn't mix these with other colors. You can use them alone, but I wouldn't mix them. But there's enough transparent colors in this set that I would say it makes it an acceptable set for me um, to use. I like the gold and silver in the set. Some of these colors are very beautiful and vibrant on their own. Um, the names are a little different, like lilac here. This looks like an intense color, and it, they call it lilac. Um, quinacridone rose, this does not look anything like a quinacridone rose. It looks more like a lavender. Um, so I, I really wouldn't pay attention as much to the color names. Some of them are kind of close, like Prussian blue, indigo, Payne's gray. Those all seem right, but carmine rose, some of these colors are are a little bit off as far as uh, names. But at least it looks like I don't see pigment names here. Nope, no pigment names, so I really don't know. But they look interesting. Now, they're different than your tip traditional, let's say, Daniel Smith. Now, you'll get a, a pack of papers, and I haven't tried these yet. So I'm going to do a little um, painting using the paper. I don't, and I may sketch first. So just, I'll just use the pencil and I'm going to do like a little, uh, just like a, maybe a little leaf study. And just maybe try using the pencil first as my, just drawing these leaves. Okay. And this is an H pencil, so it's great for sketching. I don't normally sketch out my leaves, but you know, it's kind of good to try them out, try the pencil out. And then this little pen, if I wanted to doodle afterwards, I'll, I'll show that too. But I don't think I want to use this brush. So I'm going to use my uh, really good brush. <laughs> and I'm going to look at the pigments because um, I don't want to use any of the opaque pigments when I put the first uh, layer of color down. And really, when you look at a watercolor set, um, you can tell which ones are going to be opaque and which ones are going to be transparent just by the the you know, if there's bright colors in the tray, you'll know that they're sort of opaque. Now, the the, the uh, case that it comes in is decently, it's decent. It's a little flimsier than some of the ones I've had, but I think all in all, it's not a bad case. And it has plenty of mixing area if you want to mix inside your tray. And I'm just going to use some color here, just going to pick up a color, maybe in this last this might be the olive green, and I'm going to check it out in my tray. This looks like it is the olive green. It's a very pretty green. In that one, the olive green is a semi-transparent, so it would be a nice, it would be very nice to work with. So I'm just going to do a little uh, test here uh, with the paper. I've not tried this paper before, and it's, I think it's 100% cotton. I'm not sure. And I'm going to take this uh, blue color. And I'm going to just kind of put it in here. Just trying these out. And I'm going to give an honest review. I, they sent it to me asking me to, you know, give a review. So I'm going to. I'm going to be perfectly transparent. And I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm give it a little, I'm going to give it a little bit of uh, painting, though. A little test here. Now, the watercolor paper is very grand. It's very, uh, it's kind of like a rough. And it's... It's accepting it nicely. I'm going to try mixing, let's say, that 
maybe this ochre color. It's very opaque though. I'm just going to drop it in and see how it kind of goes. It's almost co complete coverage here on that. Hmm. And again, this blue. This is a different blue. This looks like more like the indigo maybe. It's very nice. It's very pigmented. So these colors are nicely pigmented. And I think for a beginner, I'd re I think it's a decent it's a decent color selection for beginners and people who just want to have a lot of color uh, colors that are already prepared already mixed you know I love the gold I did try the gold and it's a very nice gold so I'll go ahead and just pop a little bit of gold in there and Let's we'll see. I'll try a purple color. This is the deep purple. It's a very brilliant color. And I noticed that they are very shiny in the in the palette, so they probably have a nice amount of gum arabic or binder in them, which is good. I think for maybe traveling or something like that, they'd be fun to take because you have so many color choices. This is like a uh, raw umber. I'm just going to test that. Yeah, they're very, very nice. So if I were going to send uh, or give maybe one of my grandchildren or someone a gift that, you know, just starting out in watercolor, I think that these would be acceptable. We'll wait for them to dry. I'm going to give it a little time to dry before I make my final um, comments. And while this is drying, I'm going to do a little test with the opaque watercolors just to use for maybe a background, not to mix, but I'm going to take some of these lighter colors. I'm just going to do a little wash of color and just see how they work together. One thing I noticed that these colors dissolve very quickly, which is a nice feature in a watercolor. Kind of remind, you know what these remind me of? Actually, they're almost reminiscent of the Gansai, Japanese uh, Gansai watercolors. They kind of have that feel to it. They're the, especially the opaque ones. And I'm just going to go ahead and try this little background just to see how they work. But they, you can see they just kind of very creamy. I think that's the word I'm trying to come out of with. They're very creamy. And I would use these because they're so opaque, I would use them as a background. Or just if you just if you're working doing flowers and you want to just have a you know exactly the color that you want um, you can do that but so let's just you can see they blend together very nicely and they make a really nice background so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come back and I've allowed these to dry and uh, put a little gold over it and I used the pigment liner to make the lettering and I really like the pigment liner it's very uh, juicy and this is a number five and yeah I like that it's makes a really deep line and so all in all this set I'm just gonna give my opinion on this I think that the set is very good especially for beginners and people who won't love to have lots of colors. So you'll see how they dried, and I did enjoy using them. So I wanna thank Milang for sending me these, and I can recommend these to my students and or anyone that just wants to play with watercolor and have all these colors. I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day.